All right, today, I was just replacing this for the owner. He wants a new wheelie bird put in. Mm. Into the tiled room. Okay, right, starting off, we're just undoing these screws. Now, if you're putting in a new one, all you're doing is taking out one tile. Okay, it's pretty easy. New screws on the side, which I'll do. Watch how easy this is. One. Just gonna show you this. See the strapping? This is really the big difference when we're talking about tiled and tin. You must make sure you put that on with the tiled roof. That stop that front, lifting like that in the wings and then your whirly bird goes missing. So that's what we're doing. You can put it over a pin. Um, I did install one earlier. Uh, it didn't have a batten there, but it does. that doesn't stop it because the wind still, all the hot air still comes out of that hole. Ah. So, just removing that, like so. And This one's a little different. It's not the same as all the others. It's, this one's done in two pieces. That's it, that's your two pieces. Whereas a lot of them are done in three. So that and that will be separated. But this one's done in two pieces. If you want to see how a three piece one is done, um, I'll link the video. You can click on it. And that's the one I did on the tin roof. Principle's all the same. It's just uh, you're doing it on a tiled roof. That's all. But that one was a three-piece. Uh, really good. So, attaching this back in to the rafter. Now, I'm going into the rafter. Sorry, my, my drill bit's a bit blunt, but that's fine. You can go into the tile batten. Um, the tile batten is absolutely fine. Grabbing the base. Okay. You're going to just lift this on and slide him up under. So, get a good balance on it. Now, as long as your holes over where the tile came out, you'll be pretty good. So I'm going to take this piece of metal and I'm going to attach it to the front here, just with a rivet. So, it can go missing. That rolls down the roof, they're in trouble. Now, you can use the screw. The reason I'm using a rivet is because I don't want to upset that uh, base when it goes on and the rivet sits with me flush. Yeah. Okay, so that's there. Now the idea of that, see that won't lift now? That's what we're chasing. So now if the wind comes up and gets under it, it's not lifting anymore. Now, same now. When we talk about these, they've got a, a adjustable base. By that I mean, this slides around like so, which allows you to adjust it to whatever pitch the roof is. So 
a matter of just playing with it. If it's nice and easy to move. Try to get that top nice and flat. See how it goes. Oh, I like that. See that? So you don't go spinning. Okay. You can check it with the level if you like. My eyes saying that's pretty good. My level saying that's pretty good. Okay. I am going to grab four screws, which haven't come with it. Normally, when you buy one of these, they'll supply the screws. But on this particular make, it hasn't. Now, I like the screw diagonal, 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 diagonal. The main reason is all the water will be hitting down there. Once it starts to come past there, it's not going to affect the screws. So. We go diagonal. Now on the back, see this little one here? I don't think I should have done him first. I actually forgot. So I'm just going to put a screw through that one, like so. And now that'll stay in place. Okay. Finally, just cut the sides down. Make it confirm, um, conform with all your tiles, what it's doing. Good. Then at the front, it's not going anywhere. Beautiful. And it's just a matter of pulling out foam and stopping it from spinning. Another one of these on the front. So there you have it. Up and running, sucking all the air out of the roof. Now, reason you want to do that twist the last two won't twist but you see how that sits level and it'll spin better so i hope you liked that if you did like and subscribe i'll see you on the next video